Billy Millet is a ranch maid up at Emerald Ranch. And here was me believing Dutch's bluster about us helping folk. I'm sorry. I don't have it right now. Well, then. I guess we got a big problem, don't we? I'm here for money. Money. That you borrowed from Leopold Strauss. You bring me what I need, and I'll pay you well, and I won't ask no questions. So, what is it you need? <gasps> Ain't we had enough drama? I, I, I'd be better off jumping! I, they expressly told me not to kill you. What? Oh, this is about you. Dear Arthur, I need your help. You mean the family that always looked down on me? You want me to help? It's my little brother, Jamie. You may speak with him. Exactly. If your teachings are so great, what harm can I do? They got Bill. What? Who has it? Bountyman. Hey, you idiots ever hear a Dutch's voice? You're gonna pay for this. Uh. Uh. Oh. I owe you fellas. Damn some right this. you do. Well, I'm gonna head back to camp. Good morning, Arthur. What's wrong? Thought you'd be happy to be off that mountain. Oh, I don't know. Good luck. You want to come with me? I'll show you how we hunt one. Sure. Why not? Hey, Arthur. That knife's sharp enough, ain't it? Depends. Why? You feel lucky? Uh, do you? I was riding around a couple of days back. I come across this whole cabin. A couple of fuckers lazing about outside all liquored up. <laughs> I didn't think nothing of it. So, instead of that, how about you and me go and redistribute some property? So, I lost Mama's thimble. I was playing with it and just lost it. You know, hair pomade. No. Well, if you happen to find some. Sure, I'll buy you some hair pomade. The only audience I ever had was my husband, and... I'm gonna keep it that way. Oh, fair enough. But thank you, Arthur. This is real kind of you. The land up ahead got bought out from under us and we can't finish the track. Yeah. They won't admit it. Look out! What in holy hell are you doing, boy? Get that back up again right now. God, help. Hello. Excuse me, sir. 
Can I bother you for a minute of your time? Can I tell you a little about what we're doing here? Sure. Less than a minute, I promise. Uh, we're trying to raise money to build an expansion to the Quincy Harris Memorial Hall. A shelter for homeless veterans and their families. Can you help? A donation of $20 would put us well on our way. $20 ain't no chicken feed, but sure, I can help you out. <gasps> That's very kind. What is your name, sir? Arthur Morgan. Your donation will be acknowledged on a founder's plaque when the building is completed. You have a great day, Mr. Morgan. Shocking already. I prefer to call it banking. You ain't the one handing out the beatings. No, but I am the one feeding the women and children in the camp. Your secret's safe with me. What secret? I got a secret of my own. Are you secretly normal? Excuse me? Never mind. Well, neither have I, but my uncle has a factory there. He was sort of the black sheep on account of having left. But now they tolerate him because he's a vicious snob. Oh, shit. Thank you. from that barn. Come on. Uh, yeah. Never goes easy, does it? Sure don't. Come on. Let's go see how badly they beat up the slippery feller. I wonder how much trouble he's brought with him. Uh, <laughs> guess we'll soon find out. Get down here now, you inbred trash. Find Jack and find that brains white woman! Jack! You Jack. in here? Jack, can you hear me? So, oh, Mr. Morgan, will you help me finalize our business here? <coughs> this is filthy work. We'll need money in Australia. You're wrong on two counts, sir. I'm a humble brother. A penitent monk, not a priest, and you're a magnificent bit of work. You may have made some... some poor choices, but which of us hasn't? <laughs> you have no idea. But you do. Dorkings told me about the wonderful thing you did. Oh, he talks a lot of nonsense. <laughs> no offense. None taken. None taken at all. Hey! Stop! He's kids that'll work! Don't hurt him, please! My dear Arthur. Right. Has your way been right, Mary? With you and Jamie joining a bunch of crazies. And you get away from me. You head home. I insist upon it. Leave me be. Damn nuisance. Excuse me, partner.
Brother Dorgans and I were talking about you just the other day and hoping we would see you again. How is Brother Dorgans? Oh, he's quite well. A little frustrated with the workings of our order. He keeps trying to be sent overseas, you know, do something with more challenge, maybe uh, be a missionary. There's a deserter from Fort Wallace. Head to him first. They're looking for him out on the road near Three Sisters. Man's name is J. John Weathers. J. John Weathers. Then there's a miner over in Annisburg. He's called... Well, he's called Arthur. Man unleashed, that's the thing, and it ain't my fault any more than it is Man anyone else. Man unleashed? Then unleash goodness. Not just hell's feeble brothers, sir. But how? I mean, all I know how to do is fight, I guess. I was set free to fight. Dear sir, all she wanted was a better lot for women, and they killed her, those pigs. Who killed her? I don't know. My cousins, probably, or or bows. Oh, you met them. They are animals. Not even animals. Monsters. Monsters! If God had lost all his powers of imagination, can you... too much about peace. Apparently not. Did you have fun with my son, the impetuous prince? I believe you went on a raid with him. Um, I'm sorry. I suppose I lack the grandeur of a conventional king. Would he do such a thing? Uh, to be honest, I truly don't know. They say he didn't have a very good war, so maybe he's trying to start another one. Is that what you think? I'm trying to find out. And he knows I'm trying to find out. Oh no goddamn place full of people. Bickering. Fighting and lying. It makes me real sad. I know. I need someone to ride with me. Do what? Finish off them O'Driscolls. I hear the last of them is holed up at Hanging Dog Ranch. <laughs> <laughs> 